This video is for all of the new traders out there who want to learn the basics of line charts. Now, let's start this video by saying that line charts, the chart you see right here in front of you, are some of the most popular and used charts, not only across the web, but also just in general. And when you're on TradingView, you can access the line chart by clicking the chart type at the top, and then of course, just finding the line chart that you wanna access and select. Keep in mind, in this video, we're going to explain to you the basics of this line chart, the line with markers, and the step line. So three different line charts. But let's start with the most basic line chart that you see right here in front of you. And there are a few key things to know about the line chart. The line chart connects prices over time by the specific time interval that you have selected and also the price source that you have selected as well, which by default is set to close. We're going to explain what this means and you're gonna walk away becoming an expert at line charts by the time you finish this video. So first of all, as you can see, we're on a daily chart and we're looking at BTC USD. Well, because we're on a daily chart, that means each connecting point on this line chart is separated by a day. So the price we're looking at right here, you can even watch the dates down here at the bottom of the chart, is June 14th. And if we move our mouse backward in time to the left, it sort of automatically connects to the prior day, June 13th, move our mouse again, it automatically connects June 12th. This means that the line chart is being connected by a daily time interval and it's being connected by the closing price of each day. That's because, as mentioned, our price source is set to close. So now you are probably starting to understand, aha, that's how the line chart is drawn, that's how it's displayed to me. Now there's a few really important things here to know about the line chart in your chart settings menu. First of all, we could get to our chart settings rather quickly just by double clicking the line chart. There's also a chart settings button right up here at the top right that we can click and we can access our chart settings as well. Now everything that you're going to want to access with the line chart is going to be in the symbol tab here that we have selected. If you're looking to learn more about the chart settings menu, including all of the capabilities available to you, check out our YouTube channel where we do an entire 25 plus minute walkthrough. We've also got plenty of articles in our help center walking through all of these features. Now keep in mind the price source is what defines the time intervals price. So if the price of Bitcoin closed at 65,000 yesterday, well, that's going to be yesterday's price drawn on the chart. And if the price closed at 64,500 the day before that, that'll be the price that's drawn on the chart. And then the line is connected by connecting those price points. But you have the option to change the price source for each day. So if you want to see this line chart still as a daily chart, but connecting the opening value of each day. So the first print for each day, watch this. We're gonna click open and the chart adjusted because now the points on the chart are being connected each day by the very open. The key here is to know that every trader is different. Now by default, the most common option across the web on TradingView, traders all over, investors, they usually do indeed use the close as the final price source. That's because the close in a way is a way of saying that was the closing price, that's the final equilibrium price, that's where the final trade occurred, so it must be sort of the last say about the most fair market value price. But some do say that, hey, markets are noisy, it's not that easy, so you might want to actually use the open plus high plus low plus close divided by four. That means it's going to take the open, we're still on a daily chart, so it's gonna take the open of that day, add it to the high of that day, add it to the low of that day, add that to the close of that day, and then divide the sum of all of those by four so we get an average. That means now we have a daily chart of Bitcoin right here in front of us where each connecting point is the open, high, low, close, divided by four. The choice is yours. As we said, everyone's different. You can build your own custom chart, which does lead us to another very important and helpful point here. Did you know you can customize the color, look, and feel of your line chart just like this? This means if you have a certain desktop that you like, you have backlights or different colors, you have multiple monitors, you get to decide what you want your line chart to look like just by clicking the color options available to you 
By the way, you can even create your own color options by clicking this plus sign and then moving into this capability to ultimately create your own color entirely from scratch. Really, the choice is yours. And don't forget, you also can change your line thickness depending if you want a rather thin line or a very thick line. Once again, you have the capabilities to customize this as needed. Another important thing to know, by the way, about your line chart is to always pay attention to your time zones. Because after all, we are recording this video from New York City, so we're going to want New York selected. This way, our line chart is not only drawn by the price points per, per interval, but also it's being drawn on a chart that is in our time zone cool tip here if you go between many different asset classes and exchanges you can make it so that your chart your line chart is being created based off of the time zone of the exchange that you're looking at this is a very helpful feature if you go around to different exchanges and assets you can have this exchange selected to access it so now that you understand the basics of the line chart let us remind you that you have more than just the line chart to access you can also access line with markers and when you zoom in on this chart this is rather helpful because now what you see are these markers these little circles here which are drawn on the line chart now why does this matter well this matters because remember we're on a daily chart that means every marker every little circle here represents the day so now you can literally see that. You don't just have to move your mouse or guess or line up the date with the chart. You can see the daily interval by each marker. In fact, if we go to a one minute chart, this is, can be rather helpful because it's such a zoomed in time. Well, now we can see every minute based off of these little one minute markers. And the same rules apply. If we change our price source to say high plus lows, low so this would mean give us the high of every one minute interval give us the low of every one minute interval add those two numbers together and divide by two well we can do that and we can visualize that on a chart of our choice with these markers that always show us where the interval is so this is line with markers now depending on the type of trader or investor you are you might need line with markers just to show you the time intervals but many also just prefer a simple line chart after all it's quite common it's probably going to make sense to understand the basics of line charts considering that they are just used industry wide as a standard practice let's go ahead here and now end up on the step line and we can walk us through to the finish line of this video the step line really truly is just doing steps from each price point and it really does create almost a staircase look and feel to the chart some traders some investors love step lines because they show trends because they just show straight lines going from one point to the next and that they are rather simple in the change that they show on the chart in fact you can see this chart here of Bitcoin one minute let's actually go to a weekly chart we'll really zoom out Let's actually zoom in here. And so we've got this weekly chart of Bitcoin right here as a step line and sort of watch the difference between the line chart now. So what's happening here is you can see that the line chart is being drawn from point to point. It's kind of got these slopes attached to it, different specific angles. But when you go to a step line, it's really clear cut, clear cut. It's one line to the next straight up and down or straight up or down. So depending on what type of trader you are, whether you want to watch a step line chart because you like the way it looks, it's cool, it's different. Maybe you can see the trend a little bit better. Some traders say that there's sort of this staircase that's being created as you go down or up the step line, which can illustrate a trend. But ultimately the choice is yours because at the end of the day, the step line is still doing something similar to what the line with markers and line chart is. It's connecting the specific price points by the time interval and showing it on your chart. And keep in mind, the step line has many of the same features, meaning if you double click on the step line chart, you can still define the price source as needed as well and change the color or the time zone. So now that you've watched this video, you clearly should understand how line charts work, how line with markers work, and how the step line works. And all of these charts can be accessed with your TradingView account. Get in there and give them a try because that's just the best way to learn. You're going to learn a lot by watching hundreds, if not thousands of charts over a period of time and learning what works best for you. So thanks so much for watching. Let us know what you think about this video in the comments below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our help center.